I'm Jerry Mugford and I'm the Director of Clinical Epidemiology at Memorial University's Faculty of Medicine in St. John's and I'm uh, an Associate Professor of Medicine and Psychiatry. And my direct role on the Canadian Longitudinal Study on Aging is as a Principal Investigator for the Newfoundland Labrador Data Collection Site. Personally, I'm really quite excited to be part of this project. I mean, it's not very often in your life, you know, as a researcher, that you get to be part of something so important with such potential to make a real positive difference in people's lives and in their health. So I think that's sort of interesting. I also think there are areas that, um, from my previous experience, you know, like being on a clinical team around chronic illnesses, everybody looks at people's sort of uh, medical markers like their health or their medications or their blood work, whatever it happens to be. But this project, or this study, actually recognizes the importance of psychological well-being, uh, the, the, the progress that we're going to make on sort of like uh, genetics and uh, genetic epidemiology and biomarkers. So there's just, this is really comprehensive, and I guess that's the thing I'd like to stress most of all, that it's just not one part of the health process or the aging process, but the whole, you know, range of what's involved in, you know, health and aging. I'm really interested in what biological, psychological, social, economic markers can we identify that will actually improve the aging process, okay? So on that whole level, you know, from biologics to genetic markers or things like this, what are those things that we can discover will both predict, you know, uh, healthier aging and even, I suppose, more importantly, help ameliorate unhealthy aging? And so that's what, as an epidemiologist, I'm interested in. What is it that we can do to improve the aging process, and since I'm aging, I want the process to be as good as it can be, you know. And, uh, and what kind of interventions can, can, can be done at specific points, you know what I mean, to improve the aging process. Because when I'm older, I want to live in my own home, I want to have the least number of medications possible because of side effects, and I want to have sort of control over my life and autonomy, and I want to be cognitively in control of my life. And so one can do that when one understands the aging process better. Healthy aging to me really is that I can continue to live in my house, be healthy, engage in my hobbies, uh, drive my car, you know, work if I want to. If I don't want to, that's fine. But the option to work is governed by my desire, not by sort of ailments or things like this. So autonomy, like living my life to the fullest I can, be engaged in my community and intellectual pursuits and things like this with the least amount of physical and psychological discomfort.